Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to set up an automated Certus Quartz farm using Applied Energistics 2. With this setup, you'll be able to farm Certus Quartz crystals quickly and easily, so let's dive in. First, you're going to need to gather a few essential ingredients for this farm. You're going to need roughly 7 Fluix cables to power the system, 1 quartz fiber cable, 1 storage bus, 1 barrel, one annihilation plane enchanted with fortune and efficiency, five growth accelerators, and one import bus, but that one is optional. If you enchant your annihilation planes with fortune and efficiency, they will take more power, but you'll get more Certus Quartz in return, so it's definitely worth it. Place the flawless Certus Quartz block down, one block above, so there's a block of air in between, you can use your Fluix cable to connect to your ME system, but right here I have an orange dense smart cable for mine. Then you have to surround the flawless Certus Quartz with growth accelerators on all sides except one. So I'm going to place a block down. I want to play. I want to make sure that my my growth accelerators are all sideways. So this is the top. And this is the bottom, as you can see the lines. And I'm going to just place them so they're all connected sideways. If there's any crystal growth, just make sure that you break them so they're not in the way. And there you go. Now to power your setup, you're going to want to connect it to your ME system and make sure that all of them are connected. You can see the bottom one is online, but the top ones are still offline here. So all I have to do is to connect this right there, and now all of them should be online. And there you go. <laughs> Next, you're going to want to add your annihilation plane. I have mine right here, enchanted with fortune and efficiency. For the best results, make sure you use four to five growth accelerators, although you can use three growth accelerators and three annihilation planes if you prefer. I just think the for the best results for me, five growth accelerators and one annihilation plane is the best. Make sure that your growth accelerators are powered from the top or the bottom. They won't work if you attempt to power them from the sides. You'll know it's working because you'll see electric sparks and see that they're online. As you place your annihilation plane down, make sure that it's connected with a quartz fiber cable or else it will just continuously break the flawless budding certus quartz or the budding certus quartz the second that it starts to grow, which will give you dust instead of pure certus quartz crystals. So to stop this, we place down our quartz fiber to stop it from going into the system. And as you can see here, it's already starting to grow. That's an adult quartz cluster now. Next we want to place down our storage bus on top and then place a barrel down on top of that. And then we want to set it so the only thing that can go into this barrel is a Certus Quartz crystal. So I'm filtering it right now. So this is whitelisted. The only thing that will go into the barrel now is our Certus Quartz. Optionally, if you would like your Certus Quartz crystals to go into your network, all you have to do is take an import bus and connect it to the side of your barrel and then connect that down to your system. As you can see here, the barrel is slowly emptying and going into my system right now. The reason we need to use the quartz cable is because without it we'll end up with only quartz dust in our system and we want to be able to add the filter. So the annihilation plane only breaks the fully grown Certus Quartz crystals. Once you're happy with the setup, you can optionally add the import bus to the top or side of the barrel, which will pull the Certus Quartz crystals directly into your ME system. By connecting everything properly, the farm will run on its own continuously producing Certus Quartz crystals as long as we have power. The import bus will ensure the barrel never goes full, but if the system does go offline, 
the barrel will continue to store the crystals as long as they're being mined. As long as the annihilation plane has power to be able to break the crystals. And that's how you set up an automated Certus Quartz farm with AE2. It's a great way to save time and effort, especially if you're working towards those big crafting projects like a 256 mil storage component. I hope this guide was helpful. If you need more AE2 tips, make sure you f check out the full guide. Thanks for watching and happy farming!